If Langa was a song, what song would it be and why? Whoa, what song would... The thing is about Langa, Langa is... Not taking it back from the fact that Mulanga, which is the sun, which actually, I feel like, probably has something to say with why Langa was named Langa, but I know it's named after Langa Libale. When it's hot, it feels like the sun hits, it sits at you. So any song I would sing of Langa would have to do with how the sun embraces this township. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I can't see it. I can't see it. I wish I could sing. I can't sing. Yeah. Have a few lines. A few lines. Mm. Well, have a little tune. A little tune. Oh my gosh. Or we'll whistle. A tune. That's what just came to mind right now. That's a very good question, by the way, because I tell you, funny question. Uh, this is, I'm so happy you asked this question because I always struggle with this, right? So, I, like I said, I was in private school, right? And I, I'd need lifts a lot to go home or to get picked up for games. Now, I had to be smart. I couldn't say Langa is next to Bontiervo, and I couldn't say Langa is next to Ethlo. There's only one thing I could say, you can guess. It's near Pinus. The moment I mention the word pineless, oh, pine, I know pineless. Let's go. Literally, I kid you not. And that for me was a like a reality check. I don't know. It was. It just made me feel. I don't. I don't know what exactly. I kind of haven't really sat down with that thought, but I've experienced it a lot. Where describing Langa is like very tough. Like the moment I say Ethlone, uh, it's like ah oh, sorry, uh, I can't or oh, nah. But the moment I say pineless. I'm saying, no, no, it's right near Pinelands. Like when you go to Pinelands, obviously I know it's, it's a book. But if, like that, 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 even kind of that explanation for me was also an insight of, I might think Langa is safe, it's beautiful and stuff, but there's still people out there who don't know what's happening in here. And so you asking me that question really brings me back to that feeling of like having to navigate how to describe Langa or what even lines say by the airport. And the airport is so far. You know, so, so, yeah, where is Langa really? <laughs> yeah. Is Langa a city, a, a town, what do we call it? Is it a town, a suburb, or what do we call it? <laughs> um, there's a say in Corsa that says Langa Itolu, meaning Langa is a town. Um, even though it is not a town, but we from Langa are saying it is a town because we don't see any difference between town and us. Even those who are coming from the villages and those who are coming outside of Langa, they see Langa as a United Nation, they see Langa as New York, because some of the things we have, they do not have. Wow, what makes Langa different from all the other areas or townships? 
I, I like the Alex example, because it's more or less nearly the same origins. Langer and Pines were playing by the same town player front of me. Langer was supposed to be what then was called the Garden City. That's why there's a book called The Forgotten Garden City about Langer. It's the only township that's got squares, that's got trees everywhere, and that was the planning of the day. And everybody knows everybody. It's a very tight community. We call it from, in Slag, we call it people from Langa are Banaplas. Everything happens with it. And if you look at the architecture in Langa, it's very different. Very, very English. If you can even look at the church across the road and the churches around it, they based on churches like the Presbyterians, but based on the churches in Scotland, the Methodists or the churches in, in London, and, and so on. Even the schools, the schools there were still attached to the churches. They were started by missionaries. It's the only township that still got schools named after churches. Like Zee, Zimasa is called the Anglican Church, Timban is called the Methodist Church, AME, and so on and so on. So that makes Langa different. The fact that Langa is the only place where one street had 11 jazz bands that sit out every year. Because jazz was the music in Langa. If you did not know jazz, you're not from Langa. Tell me about the music from Langa, because Langa is known for his music. Oh, music. I think art started in Langa at that time. We, there, were, there was a hall, a big hall, where events were hosted every Sunday. We used to go to an um, afternoon spend as... Um, young girls and boys and our seniors, there were pe bands, people who were involved in bands. There was the Cordettes, the Merrimax band, they used to host events. Dancing was the main thing in Langa. We used to attend dances. What's a song back from those days? How did it go? So your favorite song from those days? Our favorite songs were by um, Abigail Kubeka, Miriam Makeba. Miriam Makeba, that's the click song, eh? Yes, the click song. Do you know that one? Yes. Can you give us a few lines, please? <laughs> What role does music play in life? In life, not in Langa. <laughs> no, I think in life. I think music uh, is a is a is a is a journey. It's a journey that everybody alive should take. I mean, we all know that when you're angry and you hear a beautiful, melodious piece, you become at peace with yourself. Your anger somewhat goes away. When you're happy, when you're merry, when you're sad, music is your answer to your misery or whatever other situation you find yourself in. So music is really... Uh, the way, the way we live is musical. I'm talking as musicians, we think music, we slip music. So without music, we, 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 we don't find ourselves. We are found wanting, you know. So it's a, it, 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 music really uh, fills you with a, a, a feeling that can take you to years back, you can, I mean, 
when you're listening to music, you can even, you can even remember stuff that happened 30, 40 years ago. It, it, it somewhat triggers what was, was lying dormant in your, in, your, in your mind. So music really is a, is a, is a, is a journey for me. What's in the water in Lunga? You've had some of the most remarkable people that have come from this area. So Lunga seems to produce the most fantastic people in South Africa. What's in the water? What makes such dynamic people come from this area? It's not what we put in the water, it's what we draw out of the water. The water is very addictive. Friendliness. It's the only place where you, when you walk down the street, nobody, the person doesn't know you. They say night, you know. And the history of being the longest urbanized group of black people, it's in London. So they've been in the city for more than 200 years. They, they've been around here. And being small, everybody knows it, and it's a very welcoming. That's why you found that after 85, a lot of people flocked to love because it was the safest, the friendliest, the most hospitable, hospitable place, a wide range of, of arts, you know, and uh, music, and food, and we accommodated people who come from other people and the food that they bring and the music that they bring. The famous Amambondo, when Matiba was asked what's your favorite band, he said Amambondo. Just down the road, just down the road, they're still around, they live here in London. So what else would that? Why would you move out of London? We've got the world in London. Is there a saying in Isikosa that could describe Langa or sums up Langa? Which is it's a place of grace, uh, 